Now, in this lecture, we're going to talk about what is graphical user interface. You might have heard this name before because it's common in programming. In this lecture, we're going to just take a look at a basic understanding of graphical user interface. I will only scratch the surface here to get you going. Python Kinter, or you can say tkinter, is the fastest and easiest way to create a graphical user interface application. Creating a graphical user interface using Kinter is easy task. GUI, or you can say graphical user interface, is just a surface for interacting. For example, if you run any application, it's going to open a new window and the window will ask you to fill some data. For example, if the window is asking you for your name and address, you will fill that name and address in the text box and click on submit button to submit that data. So the graphical user interface is just a surface for getting information from the user because CMD or you can say the terminal is not always easy to get the user input. So we're going to use graphical user interface for that. Let me show you how you can create a simple graphical user interface with Kinter. So to create a Kinter application, you just need to first import a Kinter module. Let me show you how you can do that. I'm going to just simply import a module called the Kinter. You need to just specify this folder name just like this. You need to pass this package tkinter and I'm going to just create an object of it. So I'm going to say here as tk. Now for this file, this package is known as tk. You can specify any name here. Importing kinter is very simple. So I'm going to just specify import statement, then specify kinter, the package name, and I'm going to just call this package name as tk. So in this file, instead of using this kinter, I'm going to use this tk. Now once I have this object, there are two main methods used which the user needs to remember while creating the Python application with graphical user interface. The first one is a TK and the second one is the main loop. Now let me just call here a simple method TK. So here I'm going to say app is equal to TK dot TK. Now this method is very important while creating graphical user interface. This method is going to create the main window. For example, if you execute this file, it's going to open a new window in front of you. In that window, you can put different widgets, for example, button, text boxes, label, and so on. So to create a window, use this TK method. Now, just after that, you have a very important method, which is main loop. So let's call it first down here. I'm going to say here TK dot main loop. Now this main loop is very important method while creating graphical user interface. There is a method known by the name main loop. This method is used when your application is ready to run. The main loop is an infinite loop used to run the application. Wait for an event to occur and then process the event as long as the window is not closed. So basically, the main loop is an infinite loop is going to get your current event from your window and then process it. Once you have this method, let's try to execute this file. When I execute this file, I'm going to have a graphical user interface window in front of me. So now in this window, you can add buttons, text boxes, labels, and so on, and get the user data and manipulate it and store it in the database. You can do whatever you want. Once you understand how you can create a simple window, let me show you how you can add a number of widgets in this window. So basically this kinder object is going to create a main window for you. And this method is going to check any event occur in your application. If he finds any event inside this method, it's going to just manipulate it. Now, let me show you how we can add widgets inside this window. A widget is just like a component that can help you to get the user interaction. For example, button used to get the user input click, input text boxes used to get the user input, and so on. So I'm going to just use widgets to get the user data using a main window. Now, let me just create a simple application to explain how you can create widgets. So once you understand how you can create this beautiful window, let me show you how you can specify title to your window. When I execute this file, I don't have any title here. The window is going to tag the default title TK. What I want, I want to specify some title to it. So what I'm going to do is, just before this main loop, up here, I'm going to specify app dot title. I'm going to call a method title. And in the parenthesis, I'm going to specify graphical user interface application. Now when I execute this file, you can notice I'm going to have graphical user interface application title to my window. Now, just out of that, I want to add label inside this window. So I'm going to just simply create here a label. So I'm going to simply create here a variable label is equal to, I'm going to use this variable to store my label. So to create a label widgets, just specify tk dot label. 
now keep in mind you need to exactly call this method to create a label if you specify here lowercase l then you are going to get an error message because as you know python is case sensitive language so i'm going to just specify here l and then in this label i'm going to pass some argument so just down here i'm going to first pass where i want to insert this label i want to insert this label in my app i'm going to specify here app then i'm going to specify text to this label so i'm going to specify text is equal to hello kinter just start that i'm going to specify foreground color foreground color is going to be white and just start that i'm going to specify background color background color is going to be black and then i'm going to specify width width is going to be 10 and height is going to be 10 just sort of that once you create your label you need to import this label or you can say append this label inside this application or you can say you need to pack this label inside this application window to do that you need to execute a command here label dot pack so this method is going to pack this label inside your window when i execute this file you can notice i'm going to have a label inside this window i have the black background color white foreground color and the text hello kinter now just out of that let me show you how you can add button inside this window and close this application when you click on the button let me just close this window and just start this pack down here i'm going to just simply create here a button i'm going to create a variable button is equal to tk dot button i'm going to simply call a method button you already have this vgs method inside this kinder library so you don't need to worry about that you can call it whenever you want if you want to learn more about kinter you, you can check out the kinter website now just for that once i have this button let me just specify some argument here so i'm going to first specify my argument app just start that i'm going to specify text text is going to be click i'm going to specify text to this button click then i'm going to specify width and the width is going to be 30 and just after that i'm going to specify the important argument which is command and just after that i'm going to specify here app dot destroy i'm going to just call here attribute destroy of the app object so when you click on this button i want to close the application window once i have this button let me just pack this in the window so down here i'm going to specify button dot pack just like this save this file and just execute it when i execute this file you can notice i'm going to have a simple window with label and the button the button has a text click and when you click on this button it's going to close this application because i specify here command app dot destroy now let me show you what if i click on this button when i click on this button you can notice the application is now closed or you can say destroy so this command is going to just destroy the application or you can say close the application now this is just a basic understanding of kinter you can do many things with kinter this is just a basic understanding of graphical user interface now i hope you understand how you can create graphical user interface in python that is all for now i will see you in the next one